Hello all, a new day, a new question. I hope you li you're liking the series around questions that I read somewhere or if I receive directly on an email or on any social media network. Today one is pretty simple, not pretty long, uh, pretty easy. And the question is, what is the difference between a database instance and a server instance? Now let's understand where these two comes from. Uh, the server instance, what we refer to as a service in Business Central. So let me open my uh, administration. So what we see here is all are my server instances. DC140, which is running my local Business Central 14 environment. Then I have a DC200 which is running a business central 200 or bc20 environment then bc210 which is running 21.0 and test is another instance which is running 20 21.0 these two instances are actually running on the same version but these will always map to one database a service instance will always map to one sql database now before we move further Let's understand what the database instance is. So when you are in a service in the database tab, there are certain parameters. One is called the database server, the database name, and then there is a third parameter called database instance. Now, whenever you are there, a quick tip that you can always click on a field, come at the end of your panel, and you can read about the details about it. So as for the documentation, the name of the SQL Server database instance that it connects to. If the value is null, the Business Central instance connects to the default instance on SQL Server. In uh, Business Central instance is configured to be multi-tenant server, uh, server instance. Then this setting specifies the SQL Server database instance that hosts the application database. Now. I'm not getting into multi-tenant because it'll confuse you, but let's keep it simple. So that depends when you try to install your SQL Server. So when you install your SQL Server, what you get by default is a default instance, which in my case looks like this, as Danny or my local host, which is a default instance called as MS SQL Server. But if you try to install a another SQL server or it's another SQL version on your machine let's say the demo instance that comes with the product DVD that will create an instance called an AD demo or BC demo I don't know what comes up now but it always creates a new instance of in your SQL server with the help of database instance the service is able to find the database in that instance so let's, for example, that you have two instances. One is a default instance, and the other one is uh, a nav demo instance or a BC demo instance. And let's draw it so that it's clear. So, okay. So on your SQL server, you can have multiple SQL instances, and there can be business reasons for it. There can be if it is your development environment. You might have a demo instance where you are hosting or storing all your demo databases. And then the other is uh, your production instance. Okay. So let's say there are two instances. One is called as MS SQL Server, which is the default one. And then another is, let's say, an AV demo or let's assume BC demo. As I was saying earlier, and then inside these instances, let's assume that you have databases inside this, you have some databases. Okay, let me color this differently so that we can see it. One is called, let's say, demo database. 14.0, one called as demo database 15.0, and one is your test, and one is your production databases. All these are databases. Sorry, 
Okay, let's pick this up, copy this thing here. And on the BC demo instance, you have only these two database additionally. So you actually in your SQL server have four databases on this instance and two databases on this instance. Now, when you are thinking about service or server instance, as I was saying earlier, the server instance of the central or NAV will always map to one database. At any given point of time, it will only map to one single database. Okay, so let's say this is your prod instance of service, which is used for connecting to the prod database, then this will map to the prod database. You can have another one which let's say map to demo now demo is supposed to map to let's say demo database 40 no but which 40 no this one or this one now to clarify that that which instance it connects to because both have the same database name which is possible you need to define the instance of it. So if you are targeting to the default instance, which is MS SQL Server, then you keep this parameter empty. But if you are trying to map it to this instance, then I'll have to make sure that I use the BC demo in the database instance parameter. So using the database instance, the the service understand or the server instance understand which database it needs to map to and based on that your users will get connected to that particular environment so i hope that clarifies the difference between a database instance and a server instance a server instance is an instance that help users to connect to the database that is stored in your sql server at one given point of time, the server instance will always map to one single database. There can be multiple server instances pointing to the same database, either for load sharing or for uh, kind of uh, in case of you know a recovery server instance, maybe in case of server goes bad, the server there can be a recovery server instance that you have. But the database instance is more about where your database is in SQL Server. I hope that clarifies the question. And if you have some of these questions, do let me know. And I'll make sure that I'll talk about it if I know about it. This is Saurav Dhani signing out. See you in the next day on the next video. Do like and share the video and please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.